These are great movies! When you got movies like Tom Cruise in them, you can't lose. Six bags of popcorn, two sodas. It's On Cinema at the Cinema with me, your host, Tim Heidecker. Sorry. Hi, everybody. My name is Tim Heidecker, and you're watching another episode of On Cinema at the Cinema with my, with your host, Tim Heidecker, talking about new movies coming out this week and giving you our opinion on that movie. My guest is Greg Turkington. Hey, guys. Good to be back on On Cinema. Double on there. All right. I would like to start, before we give our reviews today, to make a kind of a big announcement. Um, you know, I've, as you guys know, I've been living in Jackson Hole now. It's such a nice, quiet, peaceful lifestyle I have. And uh, I know, Greg, you had said you were in the hospital recently having some organ removed or whatever, but you should think about living in a clean air space like Jackson Hole. I'm not saying you should move to Jackson Hole, but... No, I'm not going to. Uh, anyways, it's been working for me, that clear air. I'm eating right. I've been losing weight. I've been eating a lot of bison, which, of course, is so rich in amoeba acids. And I, I've been going on the Internet, and I was looking at... Uh, the On Cinema Facebook page, and I was reading some of these essays that Greg Turkington wrote that you've been posting onto the On Cinema Facebook page. Yeah. And I really thought they were terrific. Thank you. Thank you. I thought they were very well written. I compliment they're, you on They're that. very informative, mm -hmm. and I put a lot of work into them. So and thanks. I started thinking about, well, what is the one area of the whole entertainment industry that I don't have a foothold in? And it dawned on me it was publishing. Mm hmm and I thought, I want to be, I want to have a, a publishing company and start publishing books. So, um, it is with great pleasure that I announce I'd like to offer you a book deal to release a series, however you want to do it. Mm -hmm. But it would be, um, uh, I imagine, a, a collection of your essays yeah. on film. I would love to do that. I accept your offer. Um, I actually have quite a few essays already written. Mm -hmm. and So uh, the way I imagine the whole thing working is, mm -hmm. I'm also working on a book of my own, called Hog Shots, which is a coffee table book, a, f a photo book of pictures of uh, me on a motorcycle and other motorcycles that I see around town. And it's a beautiful color, large book. I think it's maybe a, a yay big, um, all with pictures taken that I just take on my iPhone because the quality is so good. Take Even from far away, you take a shot and zoom it in, and you can see the quality of the bike. Um, so the Hog Shots will come out, I'll make a ton of money on that, and then fund my second book, which would be your Hollywood movie book. What if the Hog Shots doesn't, isn't that popular? No, well, I, I'm pretty confident that, I mean, if you look at the numbers of motorcycles sold every year, it's astonishing. And hopefully I'll get somebody like, I would, my dream is to get Tom Cruise for the cover, posing with his bike, and I'm working on that right now. Since, since I am in, right now in Hollywood doing the show, I'm, I'm capitalizing on that opportunity. Maybe you should do my book first, and then you can use those funds maybe to do a second movie book or maybe hog shots afterwards, because I'm just worried it's very expensive to print these photo books, and if you lose money on that, then that could be the end of your publishing company, and I don't want to see that because you seem pretty excited about it. Pretty confident. Hog shots can be the number one book in America. Be on that New York Times best-selling book list that everybody is crawling to get on. But I'm going to be getting on that list at number one with hog shots. And then depending how on how much well, is it going to cost? I haven't done the math on that. I just don't think people care that much about photos of motorcycles in parking lots. That's, That's your if you want to do your own publishing. Movies. If you want to do your own publishing company, by all means. I thought I saw an opportunity for you, and I extended well, it to it's you. Well, I just don't think it's going it, to. Then uh, I just don't think you're going to have more than one book ever come out. So okay, we'll see. Here to prove you wrong. That's the announcement on the new publishing company, probably called Heidecker Publishing. So if you have ideas for books, let me know. We're always looking for new ideas. All right, let's talk about our movies this week. We have Jupiter Ascending, directed by Andy Wachowski. 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 Lana Wachowski. Again, the same name. Two, there's a mistake here. It should be Andy, Wachow Andy Wachowski and Lana, some other name that they got wrong here. Uh, that stars another f***ing name that I don't get, Mila Kunis. Sean Bean? Sean Penn. Yeah, Sean Penn. Or no, wait, Sean B Bean. Yeah, I don't sorry. know what Sean Bean is. I thought you were mispronouncing Penn, but In it's the, Bean. No, I'm not going to mispronounce Penn. This is a B, not a P. Well, you mispronounced Sean, so... I think it's supposed to be Sean Bean. Well, no, it's Sean. Well, let me see it. Well, if it was Sean, it'd be S-H-A-W-N. Yeah, that's Sean Bean. It's not Sean Penn. And the woman Channing Tatum. 
In the future, a young destitute human woman gets targeted for assassination by the queen of the universe. I know there was a queen of the universe. And begins her destiny to finish the queen's reign. Um, this is an exciting, fascinating superhero f uh, sci-fi movie mm -hmm. directed by whatever the real director's name is. And it's a great movie. It's not at all realistic. These aren't things that happen uh, normally in your day-to-day -day life, but sometimes it's good to escape. That's why we go to the movies and sort of live in a fantasy world for a few minutes. And Mila Kunis provides the eye candy, and there's plenty of CGI, and this is just a fun popcorn movie. I give it five bags. I love this movie. Um, I give it three bags of popcorn. Three bags is not very many for this movie. Yeah, but it's not Oscar. It's not an Oscar contender, so I, I deduct oh, two that's bags. That's Oscar's from... fault because this is this movie's as good as any. Listen, I love this movie. Uh, don't get me wrong. I recommend everybody go see it, but I'm only going to give it three bags of popcorn and two sodas. Well, then I'm going to give it five bags of popcorn and two more bags of popcorn, which we can slide over to your three bags of popcorn so that we each gave it five bags of popcorn because I think you... No, this is right here is a border. You can't slide bags of popcorn over onto mine. Well, but I, I, I think you really like this movie and I think it doesn't you not... would give it five bags of popcorn because I've seen you give five bags to movies. The whole you... idea of the show is these are my opinions and those are your opinions. Well, that's my opinion. Five bags of popcorn plus two I'm recommending bags. people see it, but I'm not just saying that it's the greatest movie of the but year. But three bags is like... That's fine, a bad I'll give, rating. All right, fine. I'll give it five bags of popcorn. Well, you don't need to because I already gave it five plus two, which moved over to your side. So it's already... It hasn't already, moved, and now we have five. It's so already it's, covered. If it moves, and then it has seven, which is the best rating it's ever been. It's the best movie of the year. Which it is. All right. Our second movie today is another sequel. I love these sequels. I love sequels because you test a movie out by making it. You, see, you make a movie, and you say, does that work? When it does work, you, you get the all, all clear ahead... Make another one. Make as many as you can. That's true, no truer than today's movie, Planes, Fire and Rescue. This is another animated Disney movie of Pixar co quality, directed by Roberts Ganaway. Roberts, huh? Should be just Robert. With Dave Cook and Julie Bowman. Boby, Boby, Bowman. Bowman. And uh, when the world's famous R air racer Dusty learns his racing... His engine is damaged and he may never race again. He must shift gears into the world of aerial firefighting. This is a fun action film for kids of all ages, including myself and my son and I watched this together uh, when he was out visiting um, last week and we had such a fun time seeing the movie and also talking about it afterwards when we went to Friendly's for uh, lunch. Greg, I give it five bags of popcorn, of course. Two bags of soda. Uh, yeah. Uh, five bags of popcorn. I mean, um, what can you say? I've seen a lot of movies over the years, and uh, it takes a special movie uh, for me to say afterwards, wow, I've never seen anything like that, and that's what this movie was. So I'm going to give it five bags of popcorn and uh, maybe one of those little captain's badges that they used to give kids on the flights, mm -hmm. you know, uh, when you take the flight and you were young, the captain would give you a little badge. All right. Now, one of my favorite segments, uh, Greg Turkington has come back to us with another uh, edition of On Cinema, On Location. These are my passion, and I'm proud to present this next one. Hollywood, California. Every street has a story. And these are but just a few on On Cinema, On Location. Hello and welcome to another edition of On Cinema at the Cinema On Location. Today we're in front of a very special location. It's Jerry's house from the movie Oh God, 1977. Jerry, of course, was played by the great, late John Denver. Now, if you've seen the movie, you'll recognize the house. In the movie, it wasn't being fumigated, but you'll recognize the big tree in front of it and just the overall setting. Oh God, 1977 George Burns. Back to you, Tim. All right, welcome back. To, uh, thank you, Greg. I didn't. That's very interesting to know about the mm -hmm. location of Oh God. Not great movie. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, uh, Decker is coming. July 12th. Is this 12th or 17th? I can't read your damn writing. 7 or 2? 
It two. Doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't really it's matter. July twelfth. You you think you've seen fireworks on July twelfth? You haven't seen anything until you've seen Decker's. It's the seventeenth. Oh, seventeenth. Yeah, Decker on July seventeenth. There's a lot of confusion about when Decker's coming. Um, I've just been told it is July seventeenth. Happy July seventeenth. What are you talking about your son? You don't have a son. No, I have a 15 year old boy from a previous yeah. marriage. Yeah. Well, that's I've never old heard news. Of this. Old news. Yeah, we, we're estranged. I, I barely ever see him, but now he's coming up to Jackson Hole once a week because they're down in um, uh, Tempe. We were married 15 years ago? Mm hmm. To who?